Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I'm going to go ahead and do a little video tutorial for you on uh, rehousing a Moto Turbo 6550. I do have 6500 or 65, 6350s housings. Those don't take the keypad. These do. These are OEM Motorola parts. Don't use any cheap factory or any cheap uh, knockoffs. Make sure that you're properly grounded. Electrostatic discharge is no joke. Okay, so you've got your radio. As you can see, you've got some marks here on the screen. We're going to take care of that. So, the first thing you do is power the unit down. You remove the antenna. Set it aside. You remove the side contact dust cover here. There we go. And you've got your knobs. The knobs are kind of hard and they're difficult to get off sometimes. So if you have one of these grabbers, use that to pull the volume knob off. Clean the volume knob, I've already done that. Channel knob should come off as well. Okay, so you've got your parts. Now, slide your battery off. Okay. Got two torque screws here. Two screws, rather. Remove the screws. It's one. Don't over tighten, don't under tighten. Okay, do not lose these screws, by the way. You lift up from the back. You get it to this position, then you slowly slip it back. You get it to about right here, to where this the knob knob's clear. You'll see the flex in here. Pop that off. Now you have the unit, the screen. Go around the surrounds, clean them. Treat them. Make sure they're lined up. Make sure they don't roll on you. And we're ready for a rehouse. It's a brand new housing. It does have a keypad already on it. Simplify things. You have your connector here. You slide it into place. Push it down, check your seals, check your alignment, slide the radio back up until these two prongs disappear up at the top. Before you push it in, make sure those seals have it rolled. In this case they have. You want to have both seals in these channels. I'll go ahead and push, put those in. Once you slide it on, check around the whole radio. Make sure that the seal's not visible. It's not. Go ahead and use your tool. Don't over tighten. Housing's in place. It's all over but the shouting. If this video goes out, you pretty much see you can reverse the process. 
line your clean these clean under them because grime can get under them line this up with the shaft it does have a retention piece here slide it on line it up slide it on push it down same with this one slide your contact dust cover on tighten it up slide your battery on check for any signs of the seal slide your battery on power it on and you have a brand new Motorola housing. That's all there is to it. Pretty straightforward. Everything should work on this just as it should. Power it up, power it down. There we go. Okay, that's it. Take it easy, guys. Hope you got something out of that. Say so rehouse a Moto Turbo 6550, 6350 does just the same way. So I've gone from an old housing to a brand new housing. Protect the film, we'll stay on it. Tell it's sold. Take it easy guys, later on.